So today we're gonna be seeing is this device that we have here today for review a gimmick or is it actually legit? We're gonna be taking it through a series of tests to see if these quote unquote AI features actually work or if you would actually use them on the shoot. So let's go ahead and get started. That my best friend, she a real bad got her own money. She don't need no on the dance floor. So first, before we talk about all the things that make this what I call a gimmick or not a gimmick, we need to test out and make sure that this is a gimbal that actually works as a regular gimbal. So on the way over, I tested like the stabilization, the different modes, all of those different things while shooting some shots of Asher and Lauren. And honestly, I think it worked pretty well. I didn't notice any issues, especially in comparison to something like the DJ RS Mini 3 which is what I was using before this. So it checks the first box that it's not, you know, it's not a bad gimbal if you're just gonna be using it for that. Are you having some fun? Asher, is this thing cool? So what do you think the odds of this thing is tracking us good are? Um, I watched you walk around. I think it's probably pretty good. I don't know. It looked like it already lost focus. It did. <laughs> Oh, oh, look, it locked on now. So let's see if it works now. So now what do you think the odds are that it's working? Um, since we're closer, probably. But it looks like, oh, it is. It's cool. That's, that's great. That, cool. That's interesting. So I guess you just can't be too far away. That guy right there, he was like, can you come film me? So one of the other pretty cool things about this is that you can do vertical. So I'm able to turn it vertically pretty easily, as you guys may have saw in the setup process, and get some vertical reels, some content. And what do you guys think? It looks honestly crazy smooth. So I don't know. I'm just testing it out here, seeing how it looks. You got some good talent here today. <laughs> it's actually pretty sick, right? Uh oh lost focus there. Okay, so now we are outside and I am going to attempt to do something that I have not done in a very long time, and that is tumbling. So doing some backflips. And I'm curious of how the tracking will do. I feel like this would be a good tracking test because I'm a fast moving subject. So let's remove the mic and see how it does. and it immediately lost me. That was really, really quick. I'm seeing stars right now, like literally. Okay, so let's try that again. Maybe I'm gonna try to be closer this time. I don't know. And for some reason, it completely lost me again. I'm not sure why it's not tracking me. Maybe I'll try like further back. So this is an absolute fail. This did not work for some reason. It's not working at all. I've tried this four or five times now and it's not working. So um, that that that's not good. So overall, I absolutely love this gimbal and I don't think that it's a gimmick. Even though in the last test that we done, the AI tracking didn't work all the way, I still think that this is very useful because it did work in the scenarios where I was just walking around or even when I was jogging it worked. I think there was just something about me doing the backflip that threw it all off. So I think that this is not a gimmick. I think that it's very useful. And honestly, I would even go as far to say that I like this gimbal over the Ronin RS3 Mini. The reason for that is because you get a lot more functionality out of this gimbal than the RS3 Mini. Not only is this used for mirrorless cameras, but you can also use your smartphone with it and it works perfectly. It feels really natural, organic. Not like you're trying to use some big gimbal for a small device. 
which is typically what it's been like when I've tried to use smartphones on other gimbals that support mirrorless cameras as well. With this one, it's seamless, it seems to work well. And even when you get into all the software integrations that they offer as well, you can really unlock some other things in this gimbal um, with the smartphone and also being able to connect the camera and have control to the camera all these things are just huge plus. And then as you can see, going vertical as well was super easy to do with the mirrorless camera. And for you guys who were wondering what device I was using for this entire video, I was actually using a new A7C Mark II with a 24 millimeter 1.4 lens. So very small setup. It could be smaller. There are definitely smaller lenses, but this is a pretty tiny setup. And I actually did try out the FX three as well with the 24 1.4 and i didn't have any issues with that either so this could do really well for a lot of different mirrorless camera setups especially if you're not going to be trying to put like an 85 millimeter lens on there or anything crazy like that so if you guys are interested in this device you can check it out in the link in the description however they do have a smartphone only version if you're interested in that one you can check it out right over here